thank you for joining. I can kind of hide behind the box now. It's so big. Uh, but let's see, I've got Survive Fan, Ultraman Fan. All the fans are here. I love it. Love to see it. So I have two boxes. Uh, this one is from Amazon Japan. Fairly sizable. And then I have this one from HLJ, which is very much larger and quite heavy, quite honestly. Um, how's everyone doing tonight on this fine Tuesday evening? Um, before I get into these boxes, though, I do have a couple of random things that I've gotten recently. Uh, let's see, what do we got over here? So, first off, I have a uh, G.I. Joe Cobra Infantry Soldier. Uh, this is not the Cobra Island version. This is just the, the normal version they did as part of the regular series. Uh, this one I got from Amazon. I had, I had one in Zartan pre-ordered at Hasbro Pulse. And surprise, surprise, someone uh, released something before Hasbro, which makes total sense since Hasbro makes it. But in any case, there's that. Um, I got some Star Wars uh, Black Series figures in the Episode 1 recreation packaging. So I got Qui-Gon, Mace Windu, and Jar Jar. So these are all from Best Buy, because I think these are exclusive to Best Buy, at least for now. Collector Shuki, what's up? Thank you for taking a break from work. Appreciate it. Uh, Psycho O's, hello and welcome. Uh, let's see, what else have I got? This came from Toku Collectibles. This is my Soto Chronicle Gaim, the energy set. So very excited for that. Uh, also got a Deep Cover, Transformers Generations Deep Cover. So very excited for that as well. And then I got some Mission Fleet stuff. I decided to pick up a second... Uh, speeder bike set for the scout trooper and uh, then I decided to get the Obi-Wan uh, Jedi Starfighter the the Obi-Wan figure is exactly the same unfortunately but the Starfighter uh, is good so and I, I've seen uh, Corey my friend Corey showed me uh, some custom stuff he's been doing with the figure so I, I might try my hand at it we'll see um, at least with the Obi-Wan because he's like a complete duplicate so we'll give it a shot move this stuff out of the way you don't like Star Wars toys oh no I like them they're fun Kamen Rider Gaim that's right we talk about Mount St. Mini Pub but we never talk about the Tower of Legos yes the Tower of Legos is probably twice as tall it's floor to ceiling so that is a thing that exists um you got Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toys yet Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is dead. What's up, Pascal? So, I don't know. I, they're, I won't be getting any Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I did some. I have a review of some of them on my channel, but... Um, I mean, they're, they're done. What's up, Adam Prime? So, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this Amazon Japan box. So a couple things in here, if I can actually fit everything. So this is the uh, CD for the theme song of Saber. Now I did get the version of this that came with the music um, Lion Senki book. I think that one also had a DVD with it, but this is the music version of the Brave Dragon book. So now I have both of those. I believe Brave Dragon plays the opening, and I believe Lion Senki plays the ending theme. And then once again, it came with one of these little postery things. So the other one, the other one came with this as well. So <laughs> you get this little poster. put that over here. I'm rapidly running out of room. Alright, so the two big things in this box, and I think they're supposed to be, yeah, here's the other thing. So, this is the Blu-ray of the um, stage show because it comes with the key down here that you can see. 
I've been waiting for them to put this up for a while. And honestly, this is this is crazy, but you can see this is the price down here. It's like almost 120 bucks in yen. And uh, Amazon Japan had it for like 9600 or something like that. So always check Amazon Japan. They have deals on stuff sometimes. It's pretty nice. Hi, Nate. Thank you for joining. Uh, let's see. Hey, man, I got all the VTEC Switch and Go Dinos off Amazon. I don't know what those are. What are the VTEC Switch and Go Dinos? I don't know what that is. I heart almighty from Kamen Rider Saber. I listen to it every day. Awesome. How much was the stage show? Um, on Amazon, like I said, it was about 9,600 yen. Yes, Japan Blu-rays are ridiculously priced. I agree. But I, at least, I like to get the Blu-rays. Usually the Blu-rays aren't too much more than the DVDs, and at least I can watch the Blu-rays because they're not region locked. Or I guess they are, but they're the same region for Blu-ray as we are. Someone, uh, someone told me that once. I don't know if that's true or not. But in any case, we can watch their Blu-rays. We can't watch their DVDs. So, the last two things in this box should hopefully be the end of this series. We have the Earth Graner God Eagle Shark. And the Earth Graner God Leo Cheetah. Let's see if I can get this box out of here. So there you go. So these are cool. I really like the white repaints for these. Plus they do have remolded uh, pieces and they come with new cars. Yeah, he's got remolded eagle wings. So I think these are pretty cool. I think this show is done now. I could be wrong, but I think it is done. I think these are the final two releases for this. And I know uh, Shinkalion Z starts pretty soon if it hasn't started already, because the toys come out in like a week or so. So, those will be... I don't know, I still haven't decided if I want to jump into Shinkali on Z or not. We shall see. Alright, let's see. Uh, Survive Fan, it was a line that VTech did years ago where there was dinosaurs that were electronic and they transformed into machines. Cool. I'm not allowed to get stuff from Amazon Japan. Oh, why not, Nate? I got some Zenkaidra stuff coming from Amazon Japan this week. Excellent, excellent. I so heart Amazon. I hope you more Ultraman stuff soon. Uh, I do have a few Ultraman things. Uh, there's, I think I finally have all of GP1 and 2, which I got off Mandarake since they reissued those. So those will probably be sometime soon. If so I can finish up. Because it's pretty much the end of Zed at this point. We should be hearing about Trigger soon, because that's going to start in July. It's already April. Alright, let's jump into this HLJ box. Just order some three Ultraman figures already? What are you talking about? Is that something specific? I do have some vinyls I pre-ordered, but I think they're coming out next month or so. There might be... There might be some Ultraman stuff in this box, actually. Can I flip this? So I can put these in there. So many of these packing materials. There are Ultraman vinyls in here. How much is HLJ shipping? Yeah, it was rough. Uh, <laughs> this box is big, so it was not cheap. What's up, Resol Fires? Oh, you got Inferno today? Nice. Oh, from Pulse? Really? Surprising. I got Ultraman, Gaia, Bemstar, and the red thing with the tentacles. Nice. I'll be ordering some McDonald's Hot Wheels stuff on eBay tomorrow. <laughs> nice, okay. All right, so I might even have this one already. I don't even know anymore. This is Gomaz. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have some version of this guy already, but 
I love these things. All right, this guy. I am not familiar with this guy at all. This is Death Five. Oh, Death Face. Death. Death Phaser. Uh, Death Phaser. I'm not 100 percent sure what this guy's name is. I'll have to look it up. But he's a cool robot dude. Which place has the cheapest shipping? It really depends. I mean, HLJ can be fine depending on like how much you ship out at a time. It really depends on. I mean, they really destroyed this box on me. I usually try to keep these boxes for storage because HLJ sends some pretty good boxes, but they really did a number on this box. The whole sides caved in. Uh, this should be... Anyway, sorry, I got... <laughs> Sidetracked. Um, it really depends. Like, if you send a smaller box, you know, it could be reasonably priced. Uh, Mandarake, depending on what you're shipping. DHL's, DHL is all about the size of the box, so... It really depends. This is GP17 and GP18. Sixteen. So I ordered these just because I ordered all the Gashapons as they came out. HLJ canceled 9 through 13, which I went back and looked and I was like, okay, there's only like one or two per wave that I missed. Uh, these are the two they got in and I went back and looked and I don't need either of these. So it turns out I should have canceled them, but they charged me for them before I got a chance to look at them. That's my bad. Uh, but everything in here is duplicates I already have. So that's great. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do, I'll just sell them or do a giveaway or something. I don't know. Uh, this is what I'm very, very excited for. Uh, this is Zenkaio, let's see, Brumajin set. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for this. And also I can... Uh, mix and match with uh, Zenkai Juran. Juran Gaon. Juran Gaon, whatever his name is. The other one. Death Facer, yes, that's what his name is. How many times do you have to not pay to get banned? For Mandarake? Uh, I would say a fair few. What's up, Mr. Bomber Holmes? It's one of the soup nerds. Can you sign my bowl? <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed. I'm glad you enjoyed our April Fool's joke. You've done it twice now. Well, that's not good. You're, you're getting close. Yeah, I would say uh, you're probably close to your limit there. What's up, Orville? Thanks for joining. Have I heard about Blade's final form? Uh, yes, the white... The, the all white form. Oh, here we go. This is Zet's original form Ultra Action figure. So there's some more Ultraman stuff for you. Uh, let's see what else have we got in here. Okay, this is oh, uh, this is uh, Candy Toy Eight. This one's great actually. This is like an apology or something because I don't know what's going on, but I feel like. The reason HLJ had to cancel all of those was, for whatever reason, the Gashapons for the Wonder Ride books are hard to come by. Uh, HLJ never got, I think they got 4 and 5, they never got 6, 7, or 8. They had pre-orders for 9 through 13, but they canceled all of them, and then they got 14 through uh, 17. But I just, I couldn't find them, even on Mandarake, they don't exist. Like, they're really hard to come by. So, Candy Toy 8 has i think the unique books from gashapon six and seven i think now released in candy toy form so that's awesome so those are a couple i don't have to track down because now i have candy toy versions and also i don't have to put these together so that's amazing so very excited for that uh let's see next up thought you meant blades final form in geo with the <laughs> The ice. Yeah, is it supposed to be ice? That makes sense. All right, so now we got the mini plot for um, Jura Gaon. I'm pretty excited for this. Um, oh, it looks like it comes with some. Oh, that's kind of cool. They give you extra like feet pieces so he can have some heel uh, articulation. That's kind of cool. And he comes. Is that a stand he comes with as well? That's pretty cool. This should be fun. This should be fun to put together. 
let's see what else oh we got uh shoto book six so i i gotta go through the name because it's so ridiculous so uh Soto Common Rider Saber Book Six and Soto Common Rider Zero One and Soto Common Rider Decade versus Geo. Rolls right off the tongue. So there's Book Six. That'll be a good time. Uh, is this just padding down here? What's this? Oh, this is a loose vinyl doll. Okay. This is um, Kerobima. He's actually got waist articulation. So he's cool. What's up, John? Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Oh, you got your HLJ box today as well? Nice, nice, nice. Just making sure we're all on the same page. <laughs> uh, this is a, another vinyl doll set with... Uh, my my one and only Savenger because I was never able to get the other one so had to get this little dude and also you have uh, Zet doing the chant my name pose from the intro so you can't go wrong so this was a great set this was only like 14 bucks or something like that so pretty much normal retail price and those are some great vinyls I had to get that all right so we are coming up to the end of this we have I should probably do these in order so we have the primitive dragon wonder ride book and the Eternal Dragon Wonder Eye book. So I'll be reviewing those fairly soon. And then I think there's only one last thing in this box. And it is a beast. And I definitely uh, should have bought this. I will say, if you're buying something that you know is big, I could have... See... I kind of crunched the numbers. It was a little bit cheaper on HLJ, but it was, I think, like $15 more expensive on BBTS. But BBTS does have, like, that super cheap, like, flat rate shipping. So I think at the end of the day, I had to overpay, like, 20 bucks to ship this thing to me. But it looks pretty amazing. This is the Diaclone DA65 Battle Convoy B-Max. And it is a beast. It is amazing. It is based on the original Convoy, a.k.a. Optimus Prime. And it is an amazing robot that also has a giant trailer. And you can see the like trailer playset down here on the bottom. So, I'm very excited for this. This is going to be amazing. Whew! That's a beast. That is super huge. But that is the end of this box. So I am going to bring this up now so I can read your comments much easier. Rocket Punch. Also, they fixed the problem that Grapple had so the pegs on Inferno won't break off for being too tight. Oh, that's fantastic news. That is actually very good news. Oh, that's Avengers Fist comes off? Fantastic. Oh, so it does. That is rad. Yo, that is cool. I love it even more now. I love it even more. Fantastic. Why do you collect the kaiju vinyls? Do they do they don't do anything and seem like they make too much room? Oh, take too much room. Well, I used to buy the really big ones. So they do kaiju vinyls in two sizes. They have the small, like, $5 ones that are, like, the same size as the ultra vinyls. And then they have the DX ones that are massive with huge tails. And those things eat up shelf space like you wouldn't believe. So... I stopped buying the big ones um, because I was just kind of, you know, displaying them for a little bit and then throwing them in a bin. And even in the bin, they take up too much real estate. So I resigned myself to only buy the smaller ones. I just think they're fun. I mean, you know, they're cool little uh, little monster guys, you know. They're pretty fun. And they're cheap. They're only like 4 or $5 a piece. So, I mean, I will say that there, I probably have some repeats over the years. Like, I'm sure I have some form of Gomez. Uh, I don't know how this is different than the one I already have, but, you know, they keep putting them out and I just buy them because they're cheap and fun. Uh, let's see. Primitive Dragon. <laughs> Thank you, Axel Andre. Olazabel Morez. I apologize if I'm butchering that. 
Um, I got those, but they're shipping. I saw a review of both Saber items from MGO. Both items can connect together and you put them in the driver and it makes different sounds. Exactly. <laughs> That'd be a big boy. You are not wrong. Hey, what's up, Peacemaker? The trailer for that is basically a modular base. I think I have seen pictures of multiple of those connected together. Yes, I think I've seen. They even sell like a connector pack so you can extend it out. Um, because I'm pretty sure it's it's two cubes. Like it comes with two cubes and then you can buy additional cubes if you want to make it ridiculously large. You got the second mech right. Must have come in after it. The second. You're talking about this? At least vinyls don't come with gimmicks anymore. Well, this one does. This one shoots his fist at you. You probably don't have Gomez. That's the first time he come out in over a decade. But didn't John, didn't they do some version of Gomez? Like in in uh, Taiga or something? I don't know. I have to go back and look. Did I get Haslab Unicron? Um, I mean, this guy's big enough, and I don't even have room for him. I've seen I've seen so many people on Twitter be like, man, I had no idea how big Unicron was going to be. Where am I going to put this thing? And I'm like, yep, that's why I didn't buy it. <laughs> What's up, Random Show Podcast? Hello and welcome. Daniel Nino, hello. Have you heard there is a CSM Typhoon belt? I have heard about that. Pretty exciting. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. The only problem with the Ichigo belt. I don't like the red cummerbund that it's like hooked on. I know that's what they did back in the day and it's authentic and all that and I, I get it. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of that look. I like the front part of it but just it, then it's attached to that like red plastic piece that I don't like. You got me there but I meant items like a metal or something. Unicron is 16 pounds. Wow. Yeah, he's big. How are you celebrating the 50th anniversary of Ryder? Well, I've been watching all of the Team Ryder panels, and I suggest you all do the same. I was on one on Sunday. Uh, definitely watch that one. It's the best one. And uh, they've been doing the movies. I watched a show up movie last night, which was a lot of fun. Um, I saw a lot of people kind of complaining, oh, it's just a clip movie. But for someone like me, I, I've watched probably the first half of the first series on Tubi. Like, I'm like 50 episodes in, and it's almost 100. Uh, so the first little bit of the clips, I was like, oh yeah, I, I watched this so far, I know this. But then it was kind of, it's like a cliff notes for the rest of the first seven riders. So if you don't know anything about Showa, it's a great, like, condensed way to get a lot of info really quick. So I enjoyed that. And then in about half an hour, the, uh, the double movie is going to be on. So definitely watch that, because that's going to be a good time. And then I think tomorrow, the Reiwa, the first generation movie, that's a good movie as well. So definitely check that out. Uh, follow Team Rider on Twitter. Is it, I think it's just at Team Rider US, I think. At Team Rider US. Um, if you search Team Rider, you'll find them. They're, they got the schedule up for all the stuff this week. A lot of good stuff. I think you are thinking of Chibusuke, his friend that ate coca beans. I, rem I, I remember the name Gomez because I remember thinking Gomez reminded me of the Adams family. I don't know, John. Go check my videos. I swear there's one out there. Uh, anyone know where to get Spino Thunder from Ryu Soldier? Well, at this point, I would check probably Mandarake or something. If you're just looking for like a used one, you could probably find pretty good shape on uh, Mandarake. The Cyclone reminds me of a wrestling belt. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's the size of a dishwasher, I think. Oh, you mean the box that Unicron comes in? Yeah, you're not wrong. Craig's Clips, I watched the panel you were on. Oh, awesome. Thanks, John. Unicron is supposed to be bigger than Titan's Return of Fortress Maximus. Oh, I'm sure of that. I mean, he's over here, and he's probably only two feet tall. I think Unicron's over three. I need to watch that movie. Yes, you do. Rider 1 is basically 100 episodes, as the two movies are basically episodes. Yeah, you're talking about the first series. Yeah, it's like I think it's 98 episodes, something like that. I feel like for $600, there's so much kibble, but I guess for the size, it's okay. For me, I don't like super huge Transformers because I get nervous transforming them. Because parts of them are so heavy. And so you're trying to move heavy pieces on joints. I don't know how well the joints are going to hold up over time. And I get, I mean, I had a vintage 
uh, Fort Max, and I was nervous to transform that because like you have to move the hips and then build, and like I'm ready to snap something off. I just get nervous. So for me, something that big, I knew I would like transform it one time, and then it would just sit somewhere, being huge and in my way and gathering dust. So I said, you know what? For 600 bucks, I can get this giant convoy thing that I'll probably play with a lot more because it's more maneuverable. You know, plus, I mean, I I, I bought the Thunder Tank, so that was cheaper. And I needed that. That's like the Thunder Tank that I've wanted my entire life. So I'm super excited for that. The Super 7 Thunder Tank. U.S. Amazon has Dime Volcano and Mosa Rex. Oh, there you go. Just buy Spino Thunder piecemeal. What's up, Brandon Miller? Finally got Beast Megatron. Thanks for the heads up on Twitter. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, I always like to tweet that stuff out. Um, you know, whenever I see it was up on GameStop today. So, yeah, get, get that Beast Megatron. Too much stress, not enough fun for the size. Agreed. That's exactly how I, that's how I feel about it, Peacemaker. Thunder Tank is going to be awesome. I'm very excited for the Thunder Tank. I mean, that's going to be big as well, but it has a lot less moving pieces, and it's kind of just like a mobile playset. Uh, but I'm very, very excited for the Thunder Tank. Very, very excited. we got 21 people watching. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'll hang out for a little bit, but I want to make sure uh, you guys get over to that Ryder movie at 8 so we can hang out for a little bit more. Also, uh, my friend Corey, who runs the Soda Pop podcast, which is an excellent uh, podcast you guys should check out, he is doing a like live tweet of the movie tonight. So make sure you head over to uh, YouTube to watch the movie on the Toei official channel. And then also head over to, I think it's at Die Soto at Dai Soto Pop on Twitter. Um, and he's doing a live tweet, so definitely hang out and check that out as well. Am I getting Wave 8 Leo? They fixed up all the issues with the 2-pack, and I'll match Blue and Wave 9. I don't know. Probably what will happen is, if I see it on sale later on, I'll probably get Leo. But for right now, I'm not going to buy it. I don't like Lost Galaxy enough to buy two of them, I'll be honest. I don't have a problem with Lost Galaxy, but it's definitely not one of my favorite seasons, so I don't really need two of that of that figure. I know he does have the additional pieces and whatnot, but I already had to buy a second uh, Psycho Red, so I don't really want to completely double up on that two-pack. If he's on clearance one day or there's some sale or something like that, I'm not going to say I'll never get it, but for right now, it's not not a priority. It's the toy dreams are made of. <laughs> I love it. Unicron was out of my budget, so there's no way I could get him. Yeah, he was. he's a big boy, and he had a big price price tag. I, I feel you on that Survive fan. Nate says it's pricey on Amazon, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I would say, like I said, definitely check around Mandarake. Depending on shipping. See, that's the other thing. If you can get on Amazon with Prime and you get free two-day shipping, that's something to consider. Mandarake might be cheaper, but then you got to pay DHL shipping. That's going to be kind of pricey depending on the weight and how big it is. So just weigh your options. Go with whatever's cheaper. What's up, Megadon? What's up, Felix? Thank you guys for hanging out. Ryu Soul Fives, did you see the leaked T-Rex? I did. Definitely going to be picking that up. It's a great color scheme. T-Rex is a great color scheme. Survive fan, I heard a Kamen Rider Shin movie was announced for 2023. Yeah, I don't know. I've heard rumblings. I'm not quite sure what it is. But, you know, hey, it's new rider stuff. I'm, I'm ready to check it out. GBakes93, I have been binging build, and now I'm praying for my wallet. That being said, what are the best build toys to get? It was a powerful Chris on. Well, GBakes, thank you so much. It's so nice of you to say. Um, I would say you're definitely going to want to build driver. That's the basics. Uh, then I would just say collect whatever bottles are fun for you or whatever's easy to find. They should be fairly cheap because they don't do much on their own. So I would just say collect whatever bottles interest you, but definitely you'll want to build driver. And then I would say again, whatever like extra power-ups and stuff you can find for a decent price. Um, you know, like the, the little dragon for Cross Z or Cross or however I'm supposed to say his name. I still don't know all these years later. Um, trying to think what else. I don't know, the Sklosh driver I didn't really think was that fun. The Evil Drivers, okay. Just a repaint of the Bill Driver. I, you're at least going to need a Bill Driver, if nothing else. Uh, let's see. Did you skip any LC figures before and have any of them broken on you? Uh, knock on wood, nothing is broken so far. Um, 
I skipped MMPR Red for a while because I had the Dragon Shield version from Comic Con, but then he was on sale for like thirteen bucks on Amazon, so I was like, all right, so that's that's basically what I'll do. I'll wait till there's some decent size and, and go for there. Uh, it was CSM Gaim or Unicron Gaim one. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, so you do have a Gomez. It was Monster 9 in the Ultraman X series vinyls. That's why I was confused. Before Orb, they were numbered based on the series. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So I was right. DHL shipping sucks. Uh, Ginkayo and KT Blade ran me over 200 bucks after shipping. Damn. KT Blade. What's... Uh, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, unfortunately, like I said, DHL is all about the size of the box. So if you bought a lot of stuff, but you could get it into a small box, it wouldn't be that bad. But if you buy like one super huge item that's not that heavy, it's going to be expensive because they go by size, not weight. So yeah, unfortunately, DHL is like the only game in town right now, which is why it stinks. But uh, it is what it is, unfortunately. T-Rex is a Target Red Card exclusive. Oh, is it really? Oh, boo, I didn't know that. Oh, that stinks. I think my wife has a Target red card. I'll have to look into that. Although, I have to be honest, I was able to get Red Wing just by ordering it off the app. So, I didn't have a red card. I guess we'll see. If I never get it, I'm not gonna, it's not going to break me. But if I can get it, I'll get it because I like it as a repaint. Uh, Roadbuster9797, welcome, hello. What's the best Transformers figure you have reviewed so far this year? Keep up the amazing work. Well, thank you so much. That's sweet of you to say. Uh, what is the best Transformer I've reviewed this year? That is a tough one. You know what I'm going to say? Uh, Studio Series 86. Just all of it. Grimlock has been amazing. Hot Rod has been amazing. Um, Kingdom has been pretty fun so far. The Optimus Primal is pretty good. Megatron's pretty good. But I think I got I got to give it to Studio, Studio Series 86 so far. John says, that's why I didn't see Gomez in the listing of vinyls that have come out. Okay. DX Bill Driver says, Nate, absolutely. On US Amazon, they have bottle sets from Bandai Korea. Four bottles for 20 bucks. That's pretty good. Again, I think you could probably find bottles pretty cheap on Mandarake. And since they're small, you could probably get a bunch of them in a box that would probably run you 20 to $30 to ship, depending on how many you get. So, oh, good luck finding a Cross Z Dragon. Is that expensive now? Wait, is that the Premium Bandai one? That's the Premium Bandai one, isn't it? Or no? No, just Cross Z. Yeah, that's his normal. Okay. Yeah, he's he's a fan favorite now, so. Get the Bottle Buster Sword from Build Coolest Sword. Yeah, that thing's big, though. Hello, Desmo. Thank you for joining. Might have snagged a DX Fies driver on Mondoraki last night waiting for confirmation. Yeah, I know how that is. You're just waiting to see if they actually have it in stock and someone didn't buy it within the you know 12 hour period of when you told them you want it. Yeah, I know how that goes. KT is Kiwami Tamashi. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I love Kiwami Tamashi. Wow, a Kiwami Tamashi blade was in the shipping was that much? Yikes. I have some I have the Kiwami Tamashi um, Garo figures. They're fantastic. Thoughts on recent CMS Lockseed announcements? I love all of them. I'm here for it. I'm buying all of them. They're great. Cannot wait. I'm ready for my Sengoku driver. Should be fairly soon, I think. <laughs> Wife gonna come and clutch for the T-Rex. Let's hope so. Did you see the new CSM Gaim stuff? I did. Very exciting. We were just uh, musing the other day how they were going to do uh, Pine and Ichigo. So they're obviously doing some kind of secondary Gaim set, which is cool. And then all the rest stuff look really good. A user from Cybertron's website found that the T-Rex was an exclusive to Target Red Card thanks to a computer system leak. Okay. Makes sense. How come you're skipping Devastator yet you have most of the pieces? I just, I don't really like Devastator, I'll be honest. Um, so Devastator is what, eight Constructicons, I think? And I think I bought four of them just based on their individual designs. I just like those robots. And then Overload I ended up getting because of the crazy price uh, mistake on Amazon. And he actually is pretty decent. I just, I hate Hightower with the little T-Rex arms. I hate him. 
I hate the one, I think it's Scavenger, that has the big wheel on the bottom and then the other big wheel above his head. I just hate that design. And Ravage is with the weird pogo stick leg. I just hate their robot modes. Um, and also, I don't really like the look of Combined Devastator. I just, I was really disappointed when they said they were doing the Constructicons and then they showed that design and I was just like, it's not good. <laughs> I just don't like it. Um, T-Rex will be 50 if you have that card. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, Megatron was 50. Did I see episode one of Dinosaur? No, I downloaded the Filmation app to watch it. And then they told me it's only for premium members. So I'm thinking it's something like Crunchyroll, where you have to wait a week, and then when episode two shows up, they'll let me watch episode one with ads. So I think I just have to wait. But I'm, it's on my radar. I can't wait to watch it. What Transformers character would you like to see get a new figure? I'm still waiting for the Autobot Target Masters. Because we got Crosshairs as that Siege Ironhide repaint, which was fine. But I really want a... Sure shot and point blank. I can never remember what's the if it's the name of the target master partner or the Autobot itself. I think it's point blank and sure shot. Either way, we got all the Decepticon ones. I want all the Autobot ones. Not the normal one is pricey. Oh, okay, the normal one's pricey. I tried getting some lock seats from Mandrake, but the tax was forty three dollars. But I pressed confirm before seeing the total price. Oops. Well, you'll still enjoy him. Grimlock is really good. My only problem is the right wing is loose. On oh, no, you got a loose wing? But yeah, he's a, he's a great figure. Absolutely fantastic. Tommy Lulu in the chat. What's up, buddy? David Zia. Hello. Thank you for joining. Survive fan, you mean Rampage Skipjack? Yeah, Rampage is the bulldozer, right? He just has the one weird... Like, he li they literally have to give him, like, a weird... Like, X for him to stand on so he can stand up. I rewatched Revenge of the Fall and then, man, it still sucks. Truth. Truth. It's definitely that. Gotta wait a week. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. So, yeah. Does that... What day... Do you know what day of the week that releases? It's like Wednesday or something, isn't it? It might be tomorrow or Thursday. I think it's coming up, so hopefully I can watch it soon. Rampage looked like that in the film. Rampage was the bulldozer, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure they're faithful to the film. I just hate the designs in general, so. Um, I mean, it's one of those deals where, like, again, if I saw it somewhere on clearance for, you know, something reduced price and just to finish it off, maybe, but it's not a priority. As for Devastator, I have the Legends class combiner they did. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Talk us through the Saber Shelf. <laughs> it's... It's up there. I mean, it's everything. It's the 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 back of the shelf is completely done in the bookshelves that they sell, so that's just completely filled with Wonder Ride books. And then you just have everything: Buster Sword, Kenzons, um, obviously the the main driver, uh, Falcon, Beyond Koku Ken Kurayami, the weird dragon thing for his arm. All the larger books are over here. Um, Slash's sword is in there. I think it's, it's like everything up there. It's all crammed in there. Bandai Not Production DX Jikoken Kaiju? Kaiji? Ultraman, I'm going to be honest, I do not know what you just said. What's the last thing from Garo you've seen? I just finished, uh, what was it? Makai no Hana, which is the first season with, um, his son and I can't remember his name Raiga yeah Koga is the dad yeah Koga's son Raiga why buy something you hate what did I buy that I hate oh you're saying that's why I shouldn't buy Devastator yes agreed I don't really know the date I just assumed Saturday because that's when anime usually airs yeah that's true I'll have to look into it how much you're getting the candy toy and GP books when they do the same as each other and add nothing new? I'm not trying to duplicate. Um, I've run into one or two so far where I got it in candy toy and then when the GP set showed up, I went, oh, darn, I already have this one. Um, but for the most part, I agree with you. I'm trying to just get one or the other. I'm not trying to duplicate. Ultraman was talking about Kamen Rider Saber. 
DX Chikoku Ken Kaiji. Is that the... Which one is that? Which is that one of the swords? Are the Transformers R.E.D. figures worth it? <laughs> I can't really say yes or no. They're okay. I don't really think they're that amazing. But again, it's going to be up to you. Like, if you have a favorite, say you love Soundwave, okay, pick up Soundwave. He's fine to tinker with. But I'm definitely not going to be going all in on the line. I've, I've already passed on Cheetor and, and RC. I just, uh, you know... I'll probably pick up a couple of the G1 like favorites. Like I think I have Starscream and Bumblebee pre-ordered. I think the Bumblebee looks pretty good, but it's it's definitely going to be a pick and choose. You know they're okay, but at the end of the day, they're non-transforming Transformers. There's a reason the Action Masters line killed the line. Nobody wants that. <laughs> they're fun for a point, but you know I'd rather have one that transforms. Oh, I mean, why get every story of book when they all make the same sound? I mean, that's a fair question. I just like them. I mean, I like the artwork on the inside. I think they're fun. And they're relatively inexpensive, so it's not like I'm breaking the bank to collect all of them. They're a couple bucks a piece. Um, I don't know. I just think they're fun. Yes, I wish they had individual sounds, of course. But what are you going to do? I don't really care about Saber, but I kind of want the Trident. It's definitely my aesthetic. It does look pretty neat. Oh, okay, that's the name of the Trident. Okay. You're saying they're not going to make one, or you don't know yet if they're going to make one? I would only buy SS Devastator for the meme. I am directly below the enemy screw. <laughs> that's true. That is That, that line was said in the movie. Uh, the legendary John Totoro. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. That's the thing that happened. Well, look, it's about quarter of eight. Should definitely end here. Head over to the Toei official YouTube channel. Watch that movie. And then follow Soda Pop Podcast on Twitter and hang out for their live tweet. Watch along. I don't know if it's a live tweet or a watch along. It might be a watch along. Uh, but in any case, head over there and hang out. I'm sure if you find him on Twitter, he'll have a link to whatever he's doing. So go check him out. And then also... Uh, the Streets podcast this Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, RRR Infinity. So definitely go check that out. And also, uh, you know, me and the guys and Rye and everyone, we all play uh, Fortnite pretty much every night at midnight on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash longstoys. Always a good time. You know, we hang out, we make jokes, we do crazy stuff. Uh, Oscar's been hooking us up with some trivia recently, which has been a lot of fun, so shout out to Oscar. Uh, but yeah, so come hang out, twitch.tv slash longstoys, midnight eastern time, we play Fortnite, it's always fun. Uh, Master Chris <laughs> Senpai, I cannot wait for the streets. Excellent. Thank you. Enjoy the streets. Uh, they're live right now with a watch along. Excellent. Head over there, um, go hang out, and say hi to Corey, I'll probably stop by at some point. And I'm just making sure I don't miss anymore. If they make those premium Bandai's, yeah, I think you're right. I think they would be premium Bandai if they do that. So I agree. But yes, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate y'all hanging out. This was great. Definitely a lot of stuff to review. So be in the lookout for all of that. Um, I'm so behind on model kits in Soto, but I promise I finally finished uh, the Zero One Soto. So I'm going to be jumping into. Uh, saber here pretty soon i'm only six behind so <laughs> there you go i'm also in the process of finishing up uh, uh liner boy so liner boy review is going to be happening soon and we can check out the combination with victory robo and all that good stuff um yeah so that's pretty much it thank you guys so much have an excellent night cody tries to ruin the bit you have shown up at the end you can't ruin the bit you have missed the bit too bad Josh doesn't know what Fortnite is. That's true. That's true. Uh, got my Digimon. V oh, nice. Very cool. Got the Digimon bracelet. All right. Uh, yes, thank you guys so much. Have a good night. And I will see you either tonight on Late Night Fortnite or Friday on the streets. So have an excellent rest of your Tuesday. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.